we have the Mounds Park Academy dance team. Todd, this is the inaugural event for the MPA dance team. It's a new varsity sport at Mounds Park Academy, the first year of existence. And tonight, you will see a performance. The team is coached by Kristen Martinez. Carrie Siegel is the manager. And team members are Abby Lovett and Hannah Siegel. They're the co-captains. Catherine Anderson, Holly Bolstad, Ellen Dahlquist, Lucy Driscoll, Hannah Irving, Laura Oline, Rod Sloan, Morgan Stinson, Taylor Washington, Laura Windsor, and Stephanie Windsor. Here with Coach Dan Hayes again from Mounds Park Academy. Coach, uh, how would you describe the first half for the Panthers? Well, a little sloppy. Uh, we're not taking care of the ball. We've had about 10 turnovers on offense. Defensively, we're allowing too many second opportunities. We're not boxing out our guys. Uh, those are areas that we're going to have to improve in the second half. And what areas has Mounds Park Academy played well and that they can uh, follow up with in the second half? I'm, I'm real pleased with the uh, transition game. Uh, Matt Miller is doing a nice job uh, being the floor general. Moving the ball up the court, we're getting some easy baskets on the offensive end, which is helping us out and has extended our lead a little bit. And how will you adapt to uh, the second half with the Concordia Academy right behind you there? We're going to put a little bit more pressure on them, make their ball handlers, uh, see if they can make good decisions on the court. So. All right, thank you. Once again, Dan Hayes of Mount Park Academy. I'm here with Todd Benz, head coach of Cordia Academy, uh, Concordia Academy of Bloomington. And coach, you've had a rough start. You're at 0-3, averaging just 30 points a game. but. Uh, what uh, has your team done so far that has uh, been a positive, as has had a positive effect on the Lancers? Well, we're pretty young, and uh, I think the best thing that we that we've done is uh, played pretty good defense, uh, despite some of the teams that we played. You know, being a, being a level above us, basically, um, we've been able to get some touches and make them work pretty hard for their baskets. Okay, and what are you looking to do in the early going of the season with? Uh, Concordia Academy of Bloomington as you uh, prepare to play in the Minnesota Christian Athletic Association? Well, basically, we're just trying to get as much experience as we can, get the, these young kids used to playing at the varsity level. I uh, don't have a lot of returning players from last year, so um, it's definitely a growing time for us right now, and our conference is pretty tough, so we need to grow up fast. And what have you seen from your team so far where they have been showing signs of uh, 
growing up and sort of getting ready to play at the varsity level uh, this early in the season? Um, it's, again, I'd say it's our hustle on defense, um, getting touches and uh, getting after it on the floor when the ball is loose, um, you know, showing that heart and desire to get the basketball and make it their own. And what will your goal be for this game? Obviously, you want to get your first win, but uh, what other goals do you hope you're, do you have set for the Lancers as they play the Panthers tonight? Well, the, the thing I set out tonight as we had our meeting was uh, to really work on our, our offensive set and to, uh, to focus on getting, getting it, uh, that in place as much as we can so that we can make adjustments based on you know, how they're defending us and uh, trying, to, trying to overcome some of our scoring woes. Hey, thank you. This is Todd Bentz of Concordia Academy of Bloomington. I'm here with a couple more Mounds Park Academy fans. This is Chad and this is Andy behind me. And what do you two think about the game so far? It's great. It's better than all the games last year. Yeah, it's really close. It's a tough, tough um, Lancer team. And we need to play hard to win the second half. So going off of that, what more does the Pan do the Panthers have to do to uh, put this one away in the second half? Defense. Yeah, they need to make their shots, too. A little offense, three-point shooting could win this game, too. Yeah. And how do you feel about Spear Night, how this is, uh, what this does for the fans and for the team? It brings us all together, and it really fires up the players. You can see right now. And last question, what do you think of the Lansing Sports Center? It is sweet. It's amazing. It's really big. It's better than all of our other gyms we've had. Nothing like going into the stands to get the word from the fans. I'm here with some rabid Mounds Park Academy fans who have enjoyed the first half as their Panthers are holding up to a six-point lead right now. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Laurel. I'm Sophie. I'm Maggie. I'm Nicole. And uh, how, about, how long have you guys, girls been uh, looking forward to this game tonight? Quite a while. For uh, like a bit of while. Uh, since the beginning of the year. Um, just all day, I've been excited. And uh, how do you think the game has gone so far? You guys are up by six, so. Good. It's going really well, both teams have won. Um, it's exciting, but I hope, <laughs> I hope we get up by more. Um, well, we're looking good right now. I hope we win. How do you feel that uh, in the up and coming years, you'll be putting on a varsity uniform at the Lansing Sports Center? Um, I'm excited for Spirit Night. We can play in front of everyone else. Me too. And uh, what about you two? How do you feel knowing you're going to have a couple fans to cheer for in the years to come? Really good. It's going to be fun watching friends grow up. Now, I also understand that this is kind of a family affair for you. You, two, you have two brothers uh, playing for Mounds Park Academy. You've got your dad calling the game uh, tonight. So how does that feel that you've got a big family six degrees going on? I just like being a part of everything that's going on. And, yeah. Okay, thank you all. These, once again, fans of Mounds Park Academy.